Hi everybody, my name is Bitcoin Brad of the Trade Vets, and today we're gonna get into setting up a TPO on Ninja Trader. I know a lot of you are interested in getting into the futures market, but you're wondering how you should trade. Well, the TPO is the way to go. And if you want to be trading just like a market maker, follow this. The first thing you'll need to do is open up your Ninja Trader. The next thing you're going to do is click on New. Scroll down to Chart. You're going to want to select the instrument. Today, for an example, we're going to be using the ES, which is the S&P 500 Futures Mini Contract. We're going to take this minute and we're going to turn it into 30 minutes. From here, you're going to decide if, how many days you want to load. We're going to select some custom hours that I will show you guys how to set at the end of this video. We're going to get rid of the candlesticks because we don't use candlesticks because we're trading value. We'll just click line on close. We'll scroll up till we see transparent and click transparent. So after you have everything set, you just click OK and a chart will pop up. Once this chart pops up, you're going to click right here on the little thing that looks like an N and it will say indicators. Even though the TPO is not an indicator, that is where it shows up. You're going to scroll down until you see order flow. It's an alphabetical order, so it's pretty easy to find. You're going to click on order flow volume profile. And you're thinking, wait, I thought we were setting up a TPO. You're going to go over here and you're going to click profile type. And you're going to scroll down to price. From there, you are pretty much good to go. You're going to click apply and it will load your TPO. As you can see, this is the time price opportunity chart. If we zoom in, we'll see how the profile is broken down by letters of time. The value areas are marked value area high, value area low and the point of control. So the next step is adding the vo volume profile. You're going to go back to the same indicator, roll down till you get to that order flow volume profile. You're going to click it. This time you're going to scroll down and click profile alignment and click it to the right, then click apply. And it's going to show up. And if you want to change the color of your profile, I like to have my profiles in white, change it down to white, click apply. It'll change to white. If you don't like how far they stick out, you can adjust that by messing with the profile width here. So if we change this to 30, it will make our profiles a little bit less prominent, still able to be useful. We'll click OK. And now we are looking at our chart but now we want to clean this chart up a little bit all these lines can get a little bit confusing so we're going to right click on our chart we're going to click properties we're going to scroll down until we see grid lines but we're going to change these to transparent and now we're going to Click OK. So now the next thing that we want to add is the market depth. In order for us to add the market depth, we're going to have to go back to our Ninja Trader. We're going to click on Connections, and you're going to connect it to your connection service. It should say Ninja Trader Continuum if you're live, and if you're on a demo, it'll say Ninja, Cre Ninja Trader Continuum Demo. You're going to click that. It's going to go yellow. 
and then now you'll be on live data. You're going to go back up to the indicators. Go back down to your order flow data. From here, we're going to click on order flow market depth map. We want to see what is going on in the market. For here, you can just pick any number you want. 25 is a good level. It'll show us that many levels of market depth. From here, for the bids, I like to see the bids in blue, and I like to see the ask depth in red. I also like to see the bid and the ask lines. I like to see the ask line in red, and I like to see the bid line in green. We'll click apply, and now we'll be able to see the orders in the market. And it will show the history as they go on. So as this is going forward, these lines here will show the market depth. And this is showing us that there is a 210 lot order at 425. This 210 lots doesn't necessarily mean that it's one buyer. It just means that there's 210 lots up here on the 425. The next thing we need to do is come up here and click on this thing that says Chart Trader. From here, you're going to open up Chart Trader. From here, you have an opportunity to set up an ATM strategy. This way, when you place your orders, you are placing them with a take profit and a stop loss already initiated. I have a bunch that are pre-created for the things that I trade. The next thing that you'll want to do, if you don't have any, is click Custom. This tab will pop up. From here, you can decide what your stop loss is and what your take profit will be. A good stop loss for a beginner trader will be around five ticks, and a good profit target is around eight ticks. You are able to customize this strategy even more by setting an auto break even. So when your when the price gets four ticks past your entry, you can set it so it goes to break even plus one. You can also set up auto trail steps. So as it gets into profit, it can go in. For this, we are not going to use it. The next step will be click save template as, and we'll save this as demo setup. Then click save. Then we'll click OK. And now when we place a trade, it will show up as a demo setup with a five tick stop loss and an eight tick take profit. Some other things that you can do with NinjaTrader are use your drawing tools. So if you're trying to figure out how to click your drawing tools, just click up here on the pencil and you can draw all of your tools. You can also hotkey them to certain buttons. So as you see here, I have hotkeyed a horizontal line to F6. That way, when I'm trying to draw a level, I just press F6 on my chart, my cursor changes to a pencil, and I can just click and draw. That I have, you would have to go to RanchoDinero.com. I'll post the link in the description. I have no affiliate, so it doesn't matter to me if you get it or not. Once you download it, it will show you all of your Acme tools. You'll click on profiling and you'll click on the session TPO profile. From here, you'll be able to customize a number of things. For now, we'll just click apply and you'll see how the TPO pops up. So this is what it looks like when it is standard right out of the box. For me, I have a template and if you guys are interested in my template or like how it looks, just message me and I'll send you the template. I've just loaded my template and now we can see everything. So I have my TPO, I have my market depth, and inside here, it will start to build the bid ask profile, which will show buyers on the right and sellers on the left. 
One thing I do love about the Acme TPO is that you're able to right click on it and you're able to move it into bars. This just lets you see where the structure is at a little bit easier than most. Another thing you may be interested in is looking inside the bars to see the orders. So for here, we're going to go to data series. You're going to have to ensure that tick replay is on. We're going to go from minute and we're going to scroll down till we see volume metric. From here, we're going to go for a 30 minute bar. Ticks per level is going to be one and we'll just load one day. With this on, it can be pretty extensive on your system if your system is not equipped to handle it. And what this shows you is each bid and each ask, each trade on each side inside of the bars. So it can give you some levels when you see some strong numbers. And last but not least, you need to set the right trading hours. So you're getting the good information. So what you're going to want to do is click on tools and click on trading hours. You're going to get this pop up and you're going to be overwhelmed with how many choices that you're able to choose from. So what you need to do is create your own. So just come down here and click add. Once you click add, you'll be able to set the hours that you want. And this is what you want to set them as. So these are the hours that are going to help you see where value is shifting based off the Globex session and the cash, cash session. These are all based off of the Eastern time frame. So depending upon where you're at, what I recommend is either just putting this on Eastern time or adjusting accordingly. Well, that's it guys. For more help on how to set up your NinjaTrader or any trading platform, jump down there and click subscribe. Turn that notification bell on because we have a plenty of more informational videos coming. And if you're interested in learning how to trade the TPO that we talked about in this video, scroll down, click the link for the Discord, join the Discord, and welcome to the community. Introduce yourself. We have a family of people where everybody is welcome. If you are interested in getting some extensive training on the TPO, scroll a little further down, find the link www.thetradevets.com and check out our TPO bootcamp or our live trade room. I recommend checking out some of our reviews. They're free in the Discord and also asking some of the community members what they think. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see everybody tomorrow.